I'm Jean Campbell, and if you're watching this DVD, you're as interested as I am in the romantic yet edgy vibe of steampunk style. This look, which pairs a Victorian look with technological gadgetry, is simply a delight to work with. In this DVD, I'll describe the history of steampunk, walk through some of the materials that will help you understand the style, and then I'll show you just exactly how to make steampunk style jewelry with the use of coal connections, resin, wire work, drilling, and gluing objects. So, let me start with a little history. You know, when I first started designing steampunk jewelry, people often ask me, what? I've never heard that word before. So I'd always respond, think Jane Austen meets Mad Max. The lights would come on and I'd get an, oh, right, I've seen that before. The reality is the word steampunk has been around since the 1980s. It started with a group of science fiction writers who were basing their stories in Victorian England. These books were filled with heroes and villains, exciting adventures, mad scientists, and time travel. The technology, since the setting was pre-electricity, was all based on steam. To get an idea, think of Captain Nemo's fantastical ship with its whirring gizmos and riveted brass whatchamacallits. Anyway, all of these stories had an underlying attitude of thumbing your nose at social order. So, these writers called themselves steam punks. Readers of these stories, especially the kids in the Harajuku district in Japan, loved them so much that they started dressing up as the characters in the stories with top hats, bustles, and ray guns. Eventually, the stories caught on to lots of other creative sectors, clothing and jewelry designers, of course, but animators, sculptors, painters, and even furniture designers jumped into the fray, too. The steampunk community continues to flourish and its influence on popular culture is currently very strong. You might be surprised as you open your eyes to the trend, possibly noticing more everyday things that are outfitted in brass, or you'll see signature steampunk motifs like clock faces and skeleton keys in unexpected places. Now let's talk a little bit about what kind of materials are used in steampunk style jewelry and what kind of things you might like to have around in order to make your own.